everyone, I am Kirsten Pima, and today we are going to be exploring Google Slides and more specifically Google Slides on an iPad. It's a tool that can be used to connect and instruct students through a digital platform, and here's how to get started with Google Slides on an iPad. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you actually have the Google Slides app downloaded. Most iPads are going to have it, but just in case, it's that white little box with the orange piece of paper on the inside. Your next step is you can either choose a template or you can create a new presentation. If you're going to choose a template, here are your options. As you can see, they already have different things split up into categories between education, work, personal. They're already set up. Now for this presentation, I'm going to create a new one. You can make your title first. This doesn't matter. You can change it later. So it's not set in stone. Okay, the next thing you're going to want to do is most people aren't going to want a white Google slide. So you're going to hit the three dots in the top right corner. And that will give you different options for colors and fonts. So you'll hit change theme. Change theme. Here you go. You've got all these options for different colors and fonts to make your presentation look a little prettier. Perfect. So next thing, if you want to change wording or fonts, you'll go and click on the actual space and you can change your font here. If you were to change your font, you would click the A with the underline and that will get you to the different font choices. You can make your font bolder, or you can make it italic, you can underline it. You can change the size here, color, all those things. Now, if you're trying to change the actual font, here are your options. Just keep in mind, you have to highlight it and Google only has certain fonts. Those are the only ones they have. You can't add them, that's it. So if you're trying to change anything else, you'll want to hit that little plus sign. You wanna add an image, a text box, comment, shape, lines, all those things are there. So if you wanna add more text, that's the spot you're gonna to wanna to go. Now, when in doubt, hit the three dots in the corner. Perfect. And if you want to add speaker notes, that'll be housed in that three dot spot. If this is if you want to make a presentation and you want to um, keep yourself in check while you're writing or reading. If you want to hit view guides, that's going to add these lines. This is to help keep things more aesthetically pleasing. Now, Slides has this nice feature where it kind of automatically will give you those guides anyways, but if you'd rather have them on all the time, that's where you can change that. The next thing most people want to do is add more slides. So this little box at the bottom with the plus sign gives you all the different types of slides you can add. Some people usually go with the same slide over and over. The best part is you could add a different type of slide for each different piece. You could start with a section header and then you could add a title and body. They don't all have to be the same. They don't all have to be uniform. It kind of spices up your presentation and doesn't keep it so bland and boring. So as you can see, we've got different types of slides and it all still matches, which is the best part. It doesn't look like it's all over the place. So we're going to go back over to the three dots. And now what you can do is share and export. This is probably my favorite tool in Google. You can easily share with anybody you know or anybody that has an email address or a Google account. I'm going to share it with myself here and you can add that I you can make my, me an editor and you can easily share it like that you can share other ways you can also copy the link just simple as that you can email it to someone you can post it on Google classroom those things are easy you can also share by sending a copy you can send it as a PDF which they won't be able to edit or a PowerPoint which they could download and edit later. Now PDFs are obviously going to be like a sheet. And the last thing you can do is make a copy. So say you want to make a copy for um, a teammate so that they can use it, but they want to, you want them to be able to change whatever they need to without changing your own. That's an easy way to share a slide or a presentation with someone. That was just the introduction to Google Slides on an iPad. I hope that is helpful. Don't forget to check out our Dish channel. You can subscribe on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Follow us on Pinterest. Subscribe and enable notifications on YouTube. And look out for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.